everybody! Hope you're good. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Oh, need to write, get these crummies off. Today so far, I have edited Vlogmas from yesterday, which was quite fun. I went to see my osteopath and had her some cracking and some massaging for my poorly shoulder. And then I just popped to Lush because I wanted to have a, a restock of my, my Lush basket. Also because it's Christmas and I wanted some Lush Christmas stuff, which I'll show you. Just had some lunch and now about to have my post-lunch tea and <laughs> treat. <laughs> Still got the cupcakes from yesterday, from Lola's cupcakes that we decorated. Ta-da! So I'm going to have one of them. Um, today's sm uh, shop small shout out goes to Graft and Crafts because this, this came in the post today and I squealed the house down. The girls made me this gorgeous wreath. It's called the Quality Street Reef and it's made out of pompons. It comes on a bit of string and it's sort of mounted onto, onto this, it's like ribbon tied around. It's really, really well made. And I'm, I'm not stressing out, but I'm like, where do I put it? Because I want to put it somewhere where it can be seen because it's so nice. I'm thinking maybe on the living room door because it'll just fit in with the, the room there. But also, I didn't know this was happening, but they kindly sent these wire wool letters I've got Lola and then I've got Diane and it just made my heart melt um, and they're two sisters that make things out of wool and pom-poms and I just thought it was just so lovely very very grateful I think I might hang these above the girls bed um, just because it's cute but that's 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 that so far for the day I need to put it somewhere safe for now I'll just pop it just pop it on the side here Phil's at home revising because he's got his exams next week. He finally got his date threes for his exam and then next week. It's very, very exciting, slightly nerve wracking, but all good in the hood. So we're going to have a little cake. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Yummy. Ho, ho, hoey. I can't eat those big things. Maybe. They look nice, but they hurt my teeth. Well, they don't hurt my teeth, but oh, just a bit hard. You're doing really well, you know. I was expecting to come home and you'd be asleep. Me too. <laughs> asleep at the table. You're sleeping with your eyes open. That is awesome. Before I carry on with the rest of my work today, a bit of a to-do list, thought I would show you what I got from Lush. Because it's Christmas and I love getting seasonal Lush stuff. It's just something I do every year. I got Halloween stuff and I wanted to get some Christmas stuff. Now I already have a bottle of Snow Fairy in the cupboard which is being used. Uh, that was, I had a big bottle last year and then I got a bottle for Christmas. So I kept the one that I got for Christmas and I'm using it now, which is good. Um, so that was the basic bitch in me. Had a Snow Fairy from the 1st of December, so it was all good. Um, so, oh, let me just move my coat so I've got more space. I uh, went to Lush and I got some things. Oh, before I, but quickly, before I show you the Lush stuff, because Clinton's card is opposite Lush in Norwich, uh, I picked up a, a new Yankee candle. This is um, warm and cosy, and it does actually smell like it should, warm and cosy. It's uh, really good. They didn't have any like cinnamon ones or anything, but I think that, 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 is just as, that is nice and warm and cozy and Christmassy. So, from Lush, I got a variation of bath bombs and bubble bars. So the first one, I, I'm annoyed now I didn't get the labels put on it, because now I don't know the names. Damn it. So this one I got, which is a bath bomb. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm not a terrible Lush fan. This one I actually bought for Phil because he's doing all of his revision at the moment. And I thought I would, my camera's not very quick at focusing. Eight nine ten eleven about 10 seconds that took great <laughs> nice one um this is a bath bomb and when when it when it all falls apart these little stars are kind of like buttery i'm pretty sure they are the last time i used it um smells very lush very fresh um, but yeah after his revision i was like you treat yourself to a lovely bath because it's dressing him out in here 
Oh, I know this one is Golden Wonder. So it's a, a Christmas time Lush Essential, which is the present, the gift one. And when you drop it in, I'm pretty sure there's like a surprise of colors in here. But that is Root and Toot and Grape, that one. This is super fresh and, and floral smelling and it's got little petals in the top of it. It's got little petals in the top of it there. So when you, when you plop it in, it'll, they'll all come out and it'll just be really good. Oh, it's just a really clean floral smell. Ah, oh, delish. Oh, this one I'm really excited for. So this is a Snow Fairy bubble bar, the similar like pattern to the comforter. Now, ooh, <laughs> eat it. I was using my Snow Fairy shower gel as bubble bath, which you can do but it does feel a little bit wasteful. It won't last as long if you do that. So uh, this, Saving Grace, because they did do the wands. I didn't see any of them. I don't know, maybe they discontinued them. So they do the Snow Fairy in a bar and a bubble bar like that. So you just snap off a bit, hold it under the, the running tap, maybe crumble it up, or just hold it underneath the running water. I got a new sh another shower gel for Christmas time because obviously we've got Snow Fairy in the bathroom and even though Phil doesn't complain about it and he says it smells really nice, I did get this one which is ch roasting chestnuts, roasting chestnuts on an open fire. It smells like quite like a little bit marzipan-y, warm smelling. It's, it's quite marzipan-y to be fair. And yeah, just very warm and kind of a little bit spicy. It says calm winter whip skin with this soothing oat milk and chestnut puree packed shower time treat. Um, which is kind of interesting because I'm pretty sure marzipan's made from almonds, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. But yeah, I got that as another option. This is a Snow Fairy bath bomb. It's like a batch. Oh, gorgeous. It's got little snowflake. It's got a snowflake on the top and on the bottom, well, whatever you want to, however you want to call it, just like that. I'm excited to see how that comes out in the bath. It just smells so good. It's funny because even though Snow Fairy is not particularly a Christmassy smell, because it obviously comes out at Christmas and then you use it at Christmas, you associate the smell with Christmas. Oh, this little guy, I, I was a sucker for like last minute till this is the hippopotamus bath bomb. I don't know if you can see, but it's got little stars in the top there. So I'm excited to give that a little bit of a, oh, it's a very calming smell. Give this one a go because the stars will go into the bath. Yeah, that's one of their calming nighttime ones, which to be honest, I'm, I'm, I need in my life. I haven't had a bath before bed in ages because we normally watch, t I normally have a bath and then we watch TV. So I think I'm gonna have to treat myself to having a bath before bed, which will help with my sleep at the moment. I've got lots, lots on my mind. <laughs> and so I'm finding it hard to not get to sleep as such, but stay asleep. This is another calming one. This is a little snowman, a relaxing one, another relaxing one. I, this is so good, it we could knock me out. I can't even I can't even describe it but it's a very very calming smell quite strong smelling but still it's very calming relaxing smell a little rainbow on the side there sweet I like I like the fresher bath bombs for like day bath and then I like to get a range of like calming ones for the evening so yeah that's that's all the little things that I got from Lush got two weeks until Christmas I normally have a bath on a Saturday I'm definitely gonna have a bath tonight I know Phil's gonna have a bath tonight as well I haven't had to be fair, when was the last time I had a bath? I think it was Saturday. I always have a bath on a Saturday. So yeah, Christmas period, lush goodies for the win. Right, I'm gonna go to the office now and crack on with some work. I will catch you later. Oh yeah. So if I get everything that I got from Lush, and then I get my bath basket. So I'll just rearrange everything in the bath basket. So we've got my bubble baths. Love them ones from the body shop. We have a couple of body shop bath bombs. A shark. And another one there. And then we have, right, so what am I gonna use tonight? I might use, I might go and, I might use the snow fairy tonight. Just cause. Or do I? Yeah, I'll use that tonight. I'm just gonna pop these in so I can see them. Hurrah! snowman oh, that smells so good flower one wicked so my my bath basket is all ready to go and all good and christmas look at that gorgeous gorgeous
Now that I'm here in the bath and it's lovely and relaxing, I'm gonna put on this album, which I discovered when I was listening to Radio 6 a few weeks ago. Juliana Barrick, Healing is a Miracle. And we've played it a few times when we wanted to chill. I tell you, if you wanna chill out, if you're struggling to sleep, or if you just wanna have some nice background music, this album. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> 